Hello XDC family and welcome back to Crypto Ready. If you want to be ready for crypto then you are in the right place. Today I have got many huge updates for the XDC community. We're going to be talking about trade finance moving to the blockchain and what ChatGPT said when I asked some important questions about XDC and its future. We will then finish off by talking about the FUD against crypto from Charlie Munger and a new wallet integration for XDC. I hope you will watch to the end as today's video will be fire as usual. Looking at a tweet from X's in my future patients. Everyone wants to become wealthy, but everyone wants to follow pumps of worthless coins. Follow use case, follow regulated projects like XRP, XLM and XDC. And guys, there's proof after proof partnerships after partnerships because like they say guys the proof is in the partnerships and xdc xlm xrp just to mention a few here because these are the main ones we cover on this channel have too many trillion dollar partnerships for the future they are already building the future technology they are already integrated into big banks governments you name it these boys are there so you need to follow utility. Definitely, I've been preaching utility for many months now and I need you to focus guys, focus on utility because utility will still be here when regulations come in. Because once regulations come in guys, it is gonna wipe away 99% of crypto which don't have a use case. So if you follow use case, follow these three to begin with and then follow my channel and you shall persevere. So if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out any future utility let's move on to the next one so we're now going to move on and talk about why blockchain is so important for trade finance and why is it long overdue and we already know that through research that we have done over the last few months trade finance is already undergoing this transformation to the digital era many big bills are going through the parliament many governments are looking at crypto looking at regulations everything is coming to fruition the world is in a bad state right now and i think they are leading us towards that reset which is going to reset to a blockchain economy so please pay attention so let's have a look at this so blockchain is a potential game changer you don't say it definitely is guys to this end digital solutions such as blockchain can have huge potential for the world of trade finance in what is still a overwhelmingly manual and paper-based industry blockchain can provide the technological infrastructure to handle large quantities of data quickly efficiently and securely while connecting the various individual stakeholders through a decentralized network now guys just to remind you that MLETR, the bill to digitize documentation for trade finance are going through the parliament in the uk at the moment and as the world follows uk law once that bill passes which will happen by mid this year then you will see the world adopt this technology and don't forget guys when we talk about blockchain and trade finance xdc is the only blockchain the only ecosystem part of this trillion dollar initiative so please keep that in mind while you listen to this so through blockchain we can achieve the optimization the industry has been asking for leading to greater levels of transparency throughout the supply chain while addressing essential time and cost cutting requirements in terms of trade finance for instance eliminating paper-based processes may even improve relations between parties across supply chains it definitely will guys it's gonna make it more transparent which is what they've been looking for because once paper travels the world it's in a bad state it can't be read it costs too much money to fly paper around and every country is using a different system so what blockchain is going to do is put everybody on a level playing field they're going to have access to live documentation everything's going to be much more simpler for smes which are small and medium enterprises and the supply chain is going to be more efficient much more seamless which is what they want and in the end what's going to happen using blockchain technology they are going to close that gap which currently stands at 2.1 trillion dollars so just to finish off with this article i'm going to read this last point however that market participants continue to work closely with their banking partners if we are to digitalize trade finance once and for all so guys they know that they need this transformation because without this area being digitized they cannot compete effectively guys because right now guys the system is a total mess i mean look at the chaos the world is in right now supply chain trade finance, moving value across borders. You can't do them very effectively, very easily. It costs a lot of money. 
So they need this system to transform the way they move paper, the way they move money, and it's all coming guys, there is no other way about it. And remember XDC is doing all of that for them. XDC has got so many good projects on there right now, so many more are coming right now, especially once the hackathon is over, we've got some very good projects bringing in some actual huge use cases. So just pay attention to XTC guys because XTC is at the center of this transformation that is happening right now and it's just a matter of months guys when MLETR passes into law in the UK the rest of the world will follow and imagine the explosive volumes and growths and demand we're going to see for the XTC network. So I'm going to pay attention as usual. Let's move on to the next bit. So we're now going to move on to and talk about what the AI chat GPT told me when I asked it some very important questions for the XDC community. And question number one was, is XDC a scam? No, XDC is not a scam. It is a legitimate cryptocurrency project that has been developed by the Zinfin Foundation, a non-profit organization that is focused on developing a blockchain-based platform for enterprise level applications. The XDC token is used to pay transaction fees on the Zinfin network and it can also be used to purchase various services and products on the platform. So guys, one thing is clarified, I mean we know XDC is not a scam. I mean why would these trillion dollar industries use the XDC blockchain if it was? And there's no doubt guys, there are many scams out there which is why I asked if XDC was a scam because a lot of people do still think, especially with the FUD out there, that XDC potentially is a scam. It is not a scam guys, look at the proof in the partnerships. It is all there in regulated environments. And the next question that I get quite a lot is, is XDC a security? And now ChatGPT clarifies it right here. No, XDC is not a security. XDC, known as Zinfin Digital Contract, is a hybrid blockchain protocol designed for enterprise grade applications. It is based on the fork of the Ethereum codebase and is optimized for high speed transactions, low transaction costs and scalability. XDC is used to build decentralized applications known as dApps and create digital assets that can be used in a variety of applications. And we already know guys, we've got that many good dApps based on the XDC network that we are able to attack the trillion dollar value movement market, the trade finance market, tokenization, and so many other big projects are on the way. So it has been clarified guys by AI that XDC is not a security and I've told you that before. XDC definitely isn't. So pay attention guys. And the next question I asked AI was, is XDC working with banks? And AI has told me, yes, XDC is working with several banks. XDC is currently working with the following banks, ICICI Bank, HDFC, Axis Bank, Kotak Mahindra Bank, IDFC Bank, Yes Bank, Indus Land Bank, and RBL Bank. So guys, the list is pretty endless. This is just a handful that the AI has given us. Many are due to be revealed this year in my opinion and many like governments, financial institutions across the globe are not even mentioned on this list which are bigger than the banks altogether. And then finally guys, talking about price, I asked AI if XTC can reach $10 and AI replied clearly it is possible for XTC to reach a price of $10 but it is not guaranteed. The price of any cryptocurrency can be affected by market forces such as supply and demand, news and speculation. Ultimately, the price of XDC is determined by the market and no one can predict with certainty what the price will be in the future. And we know guys that XDC can easily achieve that $10 mark because we are based in many trillion dollar markets, okay? People talk about market cap, but you're talking about your knowledge with the existing companies and their market caps. This technology is the future technology the future market caps are going to be in the trillions of dollars and the rightful coins with utility like XDC will be taking them top spots. So please pay attention guys because XDC will change your life in the very near future. Let's move on to the next bit. So we're now going to move on and talk about some fun being created by these big boys. And as you can see here, Warren Buffett's right hand man, Charlie Munger, who once called crypto rat poison says we should follow China's lead and ban cryptocurrencies altogether. And he clearly says it here guys that a cryptocurrency is not a currency, not a commodity and not a security. And he said that instead it's a gambling contract with nearly 100% edge for the house. Obviously the US should now enact a new federal law that prevents this from happening. So now we've got some more billionaires telling us that crypto is a fad. But you guys know the answer to that. This is all FUD. Clearly guys. 
we know that crypto is here to stay. It's already being integrated into the foundations of governments across the globe. You know that these big boys don't want you to get rich. All right. They want you to stay poor so they can control you. But I'm telling you here right now, utility is going to win the day. If you've got utility coins in your portfolio, then you have nothing to worry about. All you have to do is DCA in as much as you can. And if you've got enough, you've got enough. Something better than nothing, guys. All right. And with this FUD, guys, just remember one thing that they say one thing, but do another thing. Right now, these boys are all invested in cryptocurrencies and these big blockchain companies. They are integrating this technology in their foundations as well. They won't tell you that they're doing it. And in the USA, the UK, the Europe area, they are bringing in regulations for crypto stablecoins this year, guys. It's coming very, very soon. So don't fall for the FUD, guys. I have brought this article up because I just want to remind you that the FUD is going to get stronger as prices start to heat up, as regulations start to come close. They are going to want you out. So pay attention. Keep your crypto offline, off the exchanges, on a hardware wallet, patience and diamond hands. Let's move on to the next bit. Looking at a tweet from Flare Finance. We are pleased to announce that XTC Network has been added to Ori. This allows users to secure their assets on both sides of the upcoming Flare Wrap bridge connecting the Flare networks and the XDC ecosystems. So in my opinion guys, the Ari wallet is perfect to manage your cryptocurrencies. I'm not getting paid to promote them guys, but when I've read the information on Ari, I really like how it works. And I'm going to go through that with you now because it's got multi signature features. So if you're a business or a team, it will require multiple authorizations, multiple signatures to let a transaction happen. And if you're an individual, you can still do that by setting up multiple signatures required before a transaction is confirmed. So guys, I think this is part of the future because it is going to allow you to keep your crypto more secure. You're not going to be the only one that signs and nobody can just hack them because they need a few different devices a few different people to authorize it. So I think this is a huge development for XTC as well. So maybe something I will be paying attention to is Ari because I think Ari brings a lot to the table, guys. And even though I am already using a hardware wallet, I'm talking about in the near future, when my cryptos have appreciated to where I need them to be, I can securely put them on Ari and not worry about them because I can have many people in my business or whatever I am doing at that time to sign before a transaction is allowed. So this is something we're going to be paying attention to because we've got the flare wrap coming up, that bridge is coming up, so many huge things are coming up. So be careful out there. Never give your keys to anybody. Keep your keys written down on a paper out of sight. So please stay safe out there. Invest responsibly. And thank you for watching. So that is it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Please hit that subscribe button. Please like this video and share this video with family and friends and let them know that Crypto Ready is the place for them to be if they want to be ready for crypto. I shall see you on another video tomorrow. Take care.